That's right. My own personal battles and issues. I watch some of the things that's on Christian stations at times, uh-huh. and I shake my head, and I'm like, what is this that they're mm-hmm. ministering about? They don't even know what they're talking about. That's right. That's right. That's right. But God is constantly telling me, be humble. That's right. Amen. Last night I was at a red Shabbat with a brother who I've known for 10 years. He, he's given it at his house. While I was there, I had forgotten years ago that his father and mother ate at our house. Mm. And they're a messianic now. Mm. And they remembered when I was sharing some of the things that our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Elohim, uh-huh. was downloading in me through the Spirit That's right. and sending me into Israel, into the temple library to study. Uh-huh. And as I was studying, I was saying to myself, coming up in this Christian doctrine, how can I share these things with these Christian brothers of mine? Because these it's in opposition. Amen. Mm-hmm. It's in opposition. But God had allowed me to share, excuse me, to other brothers and sisters who came by. Mm-hmm. And I would share with them. Not knowing what seeds that were being planted then would sprout and root up where they're coming into the heat. They're only the great ones. Mm. He said, you know, some of the things you shared with us when you were after dinner. He, he was funny. You know, when we were all going to the pagan church. <laughs> <laughs> and what was so, kind of funny, the headship of that church was my brother's father. Oh. Amen. That even they couldn't understand what is wrong with you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. coming into this light. My brothers don't understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we were sharing last night, sometimes God acts as a mirror. And sometimes he's asking you, where are you at in me? Yes. Amen. 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 God was able to use a jackass, and he still uses him today. <laughs> That's Amen. true. Amen. <laughs> he's That's still right. That's right. He is still using him today. Yes. Him today. <laughs> You know what I mean? Sometimes we act just like a mule and we get uh-huh. stubborn and we don't want to move. Yes. He says, move. Mm. We want to do what we want to do. <laughs> you know, we want to preach the type of doctrines we want to preach. That's right. But we're not listening to what he has to say. Mm. Yeah. Yes. There's no one polished in ministry unless God does the polish. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's true. Amen. I asked God, I said, well, if you don't want me to go here, where do you want me to go? So he, he took me, excuse me, I didn't take myself. That's all right. He took me to Yachin in chapter 15. All right? Mm-hmm. Verse 1 through 8. He says, I am the true vine. And my father is the vine dresser. He says, every branch in me that does not produce fruit, he takes away. And every branch that produces fruit, he purges it. In other words, he cleans it from filth and purifies it that it may bring forth more fruit. Yes. So I'm sitting in there and I'm, and I'm like, you know what? You know, I'm the branch in him. You're a branch in him. But there's still some filthiness in some areas yes, of it. our being. Yes. Amen? That's and it. sometimes when you think that you have gotten to a place, next thing you know, here's another issue that jumps That's up. That's right. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. And when these issues jumped up in, jumped up in me, I was sitting there, and I'm like, oh, God forbid for that to come up. Move it. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
Yeah. I thought that I was in a place where you were bringing me to. But we have to understand before we can completely get, go beyond the veil that we have to mix up. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Please help us. There help it is. us. Mm. We have to mix up. Help us. Mm -hmm. We get this understanding where, oh, well, we're in Yeshua, but yet. We're still in the world. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. There's some issues from our previous life yeah. that yeah. hasn't been dealt with yeah. yet. Mm. Okay. Hallelujah. Only you can yeah. We look at the curse of sin, the generational curses. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. The word curses that has been spoken over us as children uh -huh. coming up. Not necessarily through family, but even through those of associates who aren't really your associates. Yeah. yeah. That's, true. That's true. Even those who look at you from the aspect that we are saved, but because you're walking this path. Yes. You're in some other way. Uh huh. That's right. They will speak curses over you unknowingly uh -huh. and forgetting about love. Yes. That's right. There it is. Mm. Yes, yes. There it is. Yes. But we must understand that some of the curses that we deal with in our family, all right, a lot of people will speak issues with this because we look where God says, no more shall the father be responsible for the sins of, oh, excuse me, sins of the children be responsible for the sins of the father. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. But when we look at that scripture in context, it means once you come into the kingdom, yes. embracing Torah, Walking upright yes. in Him. Yes. When you're walking upright in Him, no, they don't have to deal with the curses of the Father. Yes. Because the curse has been broken. That sin has been dealt with. We have issues where sin has not been dealt with. Yes. And our yes. children are going through the curse. Yes. 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 Today. Yes. 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 That's true. Today. Uh huh. And some of these curses are unknown to us. Uh huh. But what happens is the Ruach Hakadosh will highlight them right when you think you're yes. doing all right. Something pops up that's a curse that hasn't been dealt with. Yes. Yet. Yes. Hallelujah. And we have to submit unto God. Yes. yes. Yeah. There it is. Father. Yes. Cleanse me of this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, Remove yes. these things away from me because these things will fall on my children. Yes. Hallelujah. We have fathers in the faith who hasn't dealt with sin from the previous life. Amen. 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 
That is kish you yeah. when you make the decision to turn away. So then he will hear from heaven. Yeah. We have the responsibility to say, no, I'm not going to go that way. That's I am, Father, forgive me. I mean, even before we go to the Father, that is a part of our repentance. Yeah. There it is. But because we don't have these things, we just constantly go to the altar, Father, forgive me for my sin. Say it, brother. Father, forgive me for my sin. There it is. There it is. It's constant reoccurring over and over again. Yes. I am so tired of repenting for the same old thing over and over yes. and over again. Yes. That's right. How many people feel the same way? Yes, yes. yes. We repent for the same old sin. They were putting them away on me. Mm -hmm. I looked in the garden. And I saw the disobedience. And I saw the Nitsa Hara manifest the evil inclination. Yes. Mm -hmm. We listen too much to the evil inclination voice that is within us than that yes. of our Heavenly Father. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, it, it's 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 been with you so long, you know. Sometimes it, it sounds like your own voice, okay? and you don't even hear it as the enemy anymore. It is a deception. But where is God? Where? Oh yeah. All right. Where is His word? Yes. Is His word void? No. No. It is a lie. Yes. There it is. And his word was given to dead things. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand when they say tomb in the Bible, it actually means mind. Mm -hmm. Because our mind sometimes is like a tomb and dead things are underneath it. Yes, yes. Yeah. It takes the power of the Ruach HaKadosh and his word, but we can't just leave it there. We have to do something. He said, I will deliver you. I will send you through the wilderness. I will take you to the land of milk and honey. But did he do it all by himself? They had to suit up with their armor in order to go out there and fight. And we still got to fight a good fight of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And give God the highest praise. And it's not just jumping around and raising your hands up in the air. We have to be diligent yeah. in study. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Diligent. Yes. This is the highest praise for our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Because yes. you're trying to seek truth, you're trying to seek my face. Yes. yes. Yeah. Paul talked about a few chains then. The one that you get so hard, it's so entrenched. Mm. And before you know it, there it is again. Mm. And you pray about it and pray about it. You know it grieves the spirit. You yes. know it quenches the spirit. Yes. And you're sorrowful yes. when you repent of it. Yes. But the human nature, which we will be delivered from, yes. is still here. It's the flesh. Mm -hmm. And Paul talks about working out your salvation. Yes. yes. And so in this walk, it's part of this besetting sin and conquering it, yes. as you are saying right now. Yes. And see, what God does, he brings these things to your attention. He brings them to your attention. You can go around all day reciting scripture left and right. He even told Cain, the enemy is at the gate. Yes. No soon as you preach a good message, no soon as you do a good <laughs> yes. way, no soon as yes. you move in the That's spirit, right. no soon as you come yes. out of the floor and you're praising God. There it is. That's right. Yes. You're praising God, next thing you know, the kids is hollering and screaming. Praise God, you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That's right. This is real. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, safe from the mouth of babes comes protected praise. Amen. Amen. We look at these things. Mm -hmm. uh, we give God glory. We praise his name. We're in the car. We're driving, praying glory unto the Lord. Hallelujah, of course. We're almost there. <laughs> you hear somebody driving 15 miles an hour in a 45 miles an hour zone. You're going to pump your brace word when you did it. Dog, go at you! What's going to call enough? Amen. I have been studying on that at Jeremiah chapter 16. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at it, I was like, wow. It says, and it says, it says, I'm Yahweh, my strength and my stronghold and my refuge in the day of affliction. To you shall the nations come from the ends of the earth and shall say our fathers have inherited nothing but lies, vanities, and things which there is no profit. Amen. Yeah. 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 And, 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 but we can go right back. And it says, every branch in me that does not produce yes. fruit takes away. Yes. Every branch that produces fruit, he Purges it, which means cleanse yes. from yes. filth and purifies it. Yes. Amen. 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 We have to really, it's a two part act. Uh -huh. We have to be aware of this that God is showing us. And it's a part of the battle in, a, in order for us to say no to that Nitzah. And it's not an easy thing. And it's not easy for us to say no to something that has been so common to us. That's why we get captured and taken unaware. Hey, Amen. I'm just explaining. Do everybody understand what I'm talking about? Uh huh. Hey, Amen. You don't understand. You don't understand what I'm saying. Yes. You know we are we are a work. Uh, Paul says in Philippians, uh, be confident of this that he he not us. That he who began a good work in you mm -hmm. will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. It is a work of the Holy Spirit. It That's is not right. left totally to us. That's true. Otherwise, we would say, Lord, I can't do it. I'm just, uh, I, 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 I can't do it. This is what I'm He I'm, is doing the work, and even like. A rose has to be squeezed before it gets a diamond looks like a, an ugly crystal until the master cutter draws on it and Amen. then grinds it down. Amen. And are we not ground down? Are Amen. We, you know, and you know what? And I believe through this, by him bringing us aware of these things, that it's him doing the work and revealing it. He is not trying to bring condemnation to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to reveal some aspects of things in your life that may be have to deal with. Now, these could be things that you have inherited from your father. Uh huh. Yes. 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 Issues from the father. Terry, yes. um, I went to Bible churches. Mm -hmm. I was never taught about curses. And, uh, and, and yet, when um, I got into the Messianic, uh, the Hebrew roots mm -hmm. of our faith, mm -hmm. um, I, I and I, as I studied more Judaism, I realized that there are curses. Yes. And I realized that uh, people can put a curse. Yes. I realized that, uh, let's say, you have an alcoholic grandfather somewhere in the family. Uh -huh. That that can come upon right. your children, and you wonder where in the world did this come from? Mm -hmm. uh, I've been hearing, um, you know, these uh, 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 generational curses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm still in the, I'm still learning about that. Well, see, here's some you know, that, um, that what, what we're trying to, you know, is 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 a curse is a sin that hasn't been dealt with. Yes. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. That's what a curse is. Is the is the well, it's a product of sin. Mm -hmm. right. Right. 
We look at Psalms 58. It says, do you indeed speak righteousness? O you counselors? Do you judge uprightly? O you elders? Uh -huh. No, in the heart you work iniquity. And you weigh out the violence in your hands to the land. The wicked are alienated from the womb. They go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Ah. Their poison is like the venom of a serpent, mm -hmm. like that of a deaf adder that stops its ear, which will not listen to the voice of the charmer and the one weaving spells, however talented. Amen? That's true. O Yahweh, break their teeth in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Shatter the fangs of the young lion, O Yahweh. May they ebb away as waters which run continually. When they bend their bow, may their arrows be as if they were cut off. Mm -hmm. All right. It says in mine, it says, may they be uh, as if they were crumbled, if they crumbled to pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, so, so we're looking at, now this is something that's from the womb that he's speaking about. Yes. The sinful nature. I, I have a, a confession. I have a very, very, very hard time with Islamics. Mm. I feel they have been born under a curse because they have cursed Israel mm. um, their cousins for so long. Uh, and, and you see them teaching this to their babies. Mm. And uh, even um, uh, Golda, my ear, said that even at the baby nursing at the breast is learned, is taught mm -hmm. this hatred. <coughs> and I, I, I really grieved before the Lord, mm -hmm. knowing that when I would see them, I just wish the Lord would just zap them because they're an enemy of God, Amen. enemy of our people. Amen. And, um, and, and yet, I, I knew that that wasn't, I, I couldn't put together uh, the three had a shot mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. and I really I went before the Lord and I said Lord I don't want to hate anybody yeah. and yet I can't help it is when I see that I wish they were dead yeah. and yet when I hear the testimony of a brother who has come out of that uh -huh. I love them mm -hmm. and uh and then I pray that the prayers of David, just like this prophet, he's not mm -hmm. in their power. Mm -hmm. uh, if they have an army, an enemy, but for the individual, mm -hmm. for those that are in that darkness, mm -hmm. yes. I pray for them whosoever will, because God has a remnant out of these yes. people. Uh -huh. And uh, so I pray for them because there is a remnant that's going to come out. And God is revealing himself to them right now. Amen. Amen. Yes. So I have to pray for their salvation. Yes. Yes. Most definitely. And yet I carry this burden. Because but you have to understand, he says, I will curse them that curse you. No, that you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I will bless them that yes. curse you. You see what I mean? So the curse that has been spoken is, is not so much by Ishmael himself, but it's also from those that was of Abraham's seed. You yes. know, I was born under his next wife. Mm -hmm. That is actually yeah. cursing a duel. You know, the duel. That's cursing Israel for this. You, you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so there will be seven sons of Ishmael that will be saved that will not move against Israel. When you have and, the words of Messiah. Yes. Love your enemies. Amen. I get pictures of. The Israeli soldiers in the window and the demonic filled people killing them and torturing them and wanting to uh, smear their hands in their blood. I said, Seven I Yeshua, how do I how do I deal with this? Okay? Because I don't want to grieve how do I how do I deal with your words and the enemy of God? He says, but it's not by my mind, but by my spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in Ephesians six, it's talking about putting on the armor of God that you may be able to stand and, and evil stand and stand against yes, the devil. 
Um, you know, I used to have a really bad anger problem, and I'm going to tell you why um, I didn't grow up a Christian or anything. Nothing. And uh, uh, I had an experience with the Lord. Myself. It was something awesome that, you know, he basically came um, glory cloud. Yeah. And I got hit in the head with a cloud, and the lightning, and I start speaking in tongues the first time I speak in tongues. So if he could do that for me, Amen. he could do that for someone. Else. He can see, he is, all, he is almighty. Amen. He can go to the darkest regions and show up and witness for himself. Oh, yes. He doesn't need our help. Amen. I was in the midst of America, and no one came to me. And I went into a church, and they threw me out and told me I couldn't go in. So he had to come and save me himself. And, and the second thing about it is the presence. When we, we truly get into the presence, his glory comes. When his glory, when we were sitting over there at that part, in his glory, we had like water coming down on people out of the, it was raining in the building and the water was coming down just uh, a few weeks ago down in San Carlos. And you, you feel undone and in his presence of his holiness that if you're going to end up on the ground when his holiness comes. You're going to go down because Amen. there's no good thing in our flesh. Yes, right. We have to know because it's an enemy to our, to our spirit man, our Amen. flesh. Amen. We want to do, Paul says he wants to do right, but he ends up doing wrong. Amen. So, But our choice, we have to make a choice. Amen. It, see, that's why Yeshua died to give us a choice. A finding chance to have that choice. When we make that mental choice, that choice that we really want to change, but we're desperate. Amen. Are we desperate enough to be changed? Amen. To, to go into his presence and lay there and let him do surgery on us. Amen. Because we can't cure this problem that we have. Right. Only he can give us a blood transfusion right. of his blood. Amen. And I received, I'm a living example of blood transfusion because nobody, I mean, I would go, I was the only one saved in my family. That means no one believed. No one believed in Jesus. No one believed in God. They were like superstitious. Amen. And and I would have to pray. And then I would start claiming my family. And then I start claiming my neighbors. Amen. See? Remember? It said, Believe on Yeshua HaMashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Amen. And I start, I start seeing, you know, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Amen. Unless we have a faith of a little child, we cannot even see. So we have to have that childlike faith and just yield to him. Amen. When he reveals something to us. Amen. And then we'll start weeping and crying. Amen. You know, we had so-called gangsters that were killers come to Yeshua. Amen. And they were crying. The guys said, I have never cried in my life Amen. so much. Amen. We didn't have to tell them stop living together. They just went and got married. They said, we're going to get married. We didn't have to. He can preach for himself. Amen. But we just have to get out of the way. Amen. And start Amen. trying to figure it out. Because we can't figure it and search See, out. One of, the, one of the key things that you said, once you make up your mind, mind there's you more know, free. Same thing with tissue mm -hmm. That's the physical aspect that we're responsible for. Uh -huh. And we have to start saying no and saying yes, go down to rest. But see, we have to, be, you know, we have to take responsibility mm -hmm. for our part. Yes. And recognize that it is sin. That's right. Because that we live in a society <laughs> that everything goes as long as I know. Well, if I'm not hurting anybody, that's right. right. Then it's okay. No, it's not. No, it hurts others. It's other. knowing yeah. and recognizing yeah. and calling yeah. and face and face. There it is. Now, let me get, get to verse 3. You are already clean through the word, right? What word is he talking about? 
Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's through the Ruach HaKadah yes. that is ministering through us. He, you can't separate him from the Torah. That's right. But we still have brothers that are walking around thinking that they can, and they're being led by a spirit, but that is not the spirit of God. Yes, that that's the right. light spirit that is deceiving you to do these things. Mm -hmm. It is not the spirit of truth. I'm I'm sure. I think it goes back, Terry, to what you uh, were teaching before. It goes back to the Greek thought uh -huh. that everything is that this is philosophical, uh -huh. it's all in your yes. mind, mm -hmm. whereas in the Jewish way of thinking, it's Shema, mm -hmm. hear and do. Hear and obey. Okay? Mm -hmm. Whereas Judaism was a doing, Amen. obedience. Amen. Oh. What was the little thing that I taught my children? To be happy in Jesus is to trust. And obey. and obey. But there has Trust to be. Trust and obey. That's right. There isn't any other way. Uh, as Jane says, your faith without the works is dead. But that Greek way of thinking that you taught that entered into yes. Christianity right. through uh, Martian and all these other, uh, right. Augustine and all these other uh, worthless church fathers. Yeah. Uh, that that crept in where it, it then becomes a religion of the mind. Yes. And as long as you say, oh, well, uh, I'm oh, sorry for that. That is not repentance. That is not like yeah. going to the person and saying, I sinned against you. I said words that were careless, and I hurt you. You'll be forgive me. Yes. Okay? So, but in... in in this religion, I Amen. hate the word religion. Amen. Well, in, this way, way in, right. in this way, yes. in this way, yes. it's here and do. It's what we do here on earth. Yes. It's not just high in the sky and the sweet high and high. <laughs> and yes. and uh, it, it's all in your thoughts. Yes. 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 It's yes. not people, in our thoughts. It's a way of life. People don't understand. When they, they'll, they'll say the phraseology, but well, we have a right now God. Then you need to do that he says right those now. things right now. Right now. You know, if it fix that sure gives you an example. He says, if you have art between your brother or offended your brother or something, you're gonna take the gift and set it down next to the altar. You know, because God isn't gonna accept anything. Yes. And if you're not right with him, I don't care if you look, if you guys gave his ministry right now, a million dollars. You know what? God is not going to think anything about it if your heart is not right. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Nothing. Well, the Catholic Church and some of the churches back in the day, like during medieval times, they just like said, well, here, give us some money. Yes. And forgive us. Yes. Well, that's that's sure. one of the ploys yeah, of the wicked. You see what I mean? Because yeah. they were brilliant. That's you know? true. But see, when Yeshua tells you to lay it right next to the altar, what is he telling you? You can't come to the Father to give him no kind of praise unless you go and reconcile yourself. Exactly. You need to go to the brother and say, hey, look, I'm sorry. Mom, I'm sorry I said this to you this way. Grandma, I apologize for this. Wife, I'm sorry I said this the other day. Yeah. But, you know, you have to say all of these things. These are things that you do right now. Yes. These are not things where all of a sudden you sit there and you repent, Lord, forgive me for this and that and this, and everything is just a-okay. <laughs> God is still holding that. He can still send the sin. See the sin. You haven't got rid of that yet. You got some unfinished business to do, bro. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, uh, you know, it's, it's really simple. It says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're not grievous. No, they're not. It's very simple when he talks to us because we are called his children. Amen. And he talks to us very simple. He, if we, because there's nothing we can sacrifice. Mm -hmm. but All we can do is give us, give our obedience, our, our willing to please. Amen. Okay, now hold on. Abide in me, and I in you, just as the branch cannot produce fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you, unless you abide in me. Now, what is he talking about abiding in him? It's not just, you know, how we get it. You just abide in Jesus, and everything will be all right. That's right. But we ain't a Torah observant, 
man they are. Uh -huh. See, we're abiding, but we're not abiding in the foundation of what he was teaching. That's right. So when he says abide in me, he said abide in the things of which I am teaching you. I am teaching you the things of what I've heard from my father. I am teaching you that things that came down from my Zion. I am teaching you these things. Embrace these things in me. Mm -hmm. That's right. Embrace these things in me. That's right. He speaks about being one, being in unity, be a God. Yes. He speaks about those things. He says that I will come and suck with you. Yes, yes. See, in the Hebraic, we understand that if we come, if I take you to my house and, and I am seen eating with you, then we're in covenant with you. Yes. What he is saying is, if you eat of my bread, yes. that is showing that you are a cod in covenant with me. I will dine with you. Yes. It also shows an intimacy. Yes. It's an intimacy when you eat with it's someone. It's an intimacy. Yes. Uh, I will die with you and you with me. It's, it's almost, uh, almost like a marriage. Uh, because, uh, and Abraham knew Sarah. Amen. He went in onto her. It was, he knew her. Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. It, it's an intimacy. It's an intimacy. Amen. Unless we have this intimacy, we can't hear his voice. Yes. Amen. And, and, and if you're going by the old pattern of the churchianity that has mm -hmm. been uh, paganized come down to today, mm -hmm. uh, today's thought in, in America's churches is we are a New Testament church. Mm -hmm. uh, all the uh, all the law was nailed to the cross, so there is no uh, there is no Tanakh mm -hmm. uh, and its ordinance and its statutes, mm -hmm. and so they've abrogated all of that. Yes. So uh, we are led by uh -huh. the Spirit. So yes. they have no foundation. Exactly. They, no have, foundation. they have nothing that shows them what sin is. Right. It is. But see, we we yeah. replaced all that. You understand? We have to stay lawlessness under grace. Lawless. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's what we've been practicing. This is what we've been taught to practice. Lawlessness under grace. If you're not going to go back and read what God gave to his people. If you're not going to be a part of the covenant. If you're not going to be a part of the marriage. Hmm. And you're going to be under this so-called cloud of grace mm -hmm. and practice mm -hmm. lawlessness, then you're walking in adultery and you're walking mm -hmm. as a heart. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Like, um, yeah. when Jesus separates the sheep and the goats. You're going exactly. To yes, that's how. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes. You know, personally, I think there's um, a very wicked plan by Hathi Khan, mm -hmm. Satan. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I think those uh, people that are working, uh, operating under grace, I think it's a setup for the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. And I think um, there's this, I, I believe there's a shepherd, which is Yeshua, but then I believe there's a goat herder. Mm -hmm. And um, they're going to go, and that's, that's that separation that Amen. Yeshua is doing a separation Amen. between the goats and the sheep, the wheat and the tare. He does the separating. Yeah. He says he will send. Amen. He, is, he will do the separating, and that's that's a this is I think it's a satanic plan by the enemy to create lawlessness, to to allow this lawlessness to put in place a figure. Amen. It's been a setup so people will worship men and not obey and not him. Obey. That's right. They start looking to the person that's up in the right. pulpit oh, yeah. and and uh, the. How big the, the mega church is. Yes. And there's no real relationship. That's true. You know, uh, it's just the fact that we can use that as a status symbol that I go to the great church, yeah. but not getting the word. Yes. You know, they, they're they getting the aspect of no foundation. Uh huh. But they're getting this. And this is, you know, God is concerned about this. It is. He is concerned. And we need to be concerned. Yes, my brother. 
When you, you just said a key word, just Father Ghost, and that's about relationship. There's something that Father taught me, and it begins with uh, fellowship brings about fellowship. Fellowship brings about friendship. Mm -hmm. And then friendship brings about relationship. Amen. It's like between a man and a wife, and she talked about intimacy just a while ago. Right. Mm -hmm. The problem is that we don't have that intimacy mm -hmm. because we don't have a relationship. Yes. Right. But in order to have the relationship, right. we've got to have a fellowship first. Right. And then Yeshua says in, in that same 15, he said, but I have called you friends. Amen. I called you friends because you're following after me. Right. Amen. And now that I call you friends, mm -hmm. then I take you to one step level, one level higher. We have a relationship. Amen. And 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 Yokanan says that we are the sons of Amen. Elohim. Amen. So that's the reason why we can enjoy this Amen. because we have the relationship with them. We are. And Shaul talks about it in Romans chapter eight. He said if heirs in joint heirs with the shoe. Amen. Amen. And our spirit bears witness of his spirit Amen. that we are yes. the sons of Elohim. Amen. Amen. That is so true. <laughs> that is so true. See, now, this, what we're in and we're getting into, is helping us to come to the understanding yeah. by he who has put his name on us. Yes. Yes. See, the only way he can say, Amen. I, like David said, God said unto my God. Yeah. The only way he can say that, and God says, see now, once we have this inside of us, he can see the image of himself. Yeah. Yeah. Like his wife. He can see the image of himself. He has placed his name on you, Yahweh. Because he can see the image of himself. Of himself. But the only way that we can bear that image is not to forget about it. It's like covering Separating yourself from everything which is manifested in our heavenly bodies on the earth. Yes. This is what the Torah is. This is what the Tanakh is. Amen? We have to embrace it. We have to embrace it. Now, I'm going back and it says, let's see. Let's see, unless you abide in me. Okay, let me back. Abide in me and I in you, just as the branch cannot produce fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine. Yes. Neither can you unless you abide in me. Unless you abide. You know what weeds produce? Weeds. Yeah, that's it. We didn't yeah. produce weeds. So when instead of us producing the fruit of the Heavenly Father, yeah. we have certain places that are, that are producing weeds. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I mean. The enemy has sadness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Over sleep. And what we have in some cases is those who are being grown being weeds mm -hmm. that is trying to come against the fruitfulness of what God is trying to do. Yes. Amen. It, it, and you it, it, wonder why you're being attacked. Yes, my brother. In my version, in verse 3, it says, Right now, because of the word I have spoken mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. you are pruned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. say, because of the word I have spoken, mm -hmm. I've already, it's pruned you away from me. Amen. Mm -hmm. hey, what a choice now. Are you going to stay with me? Amen. Come on. Yeah. That's right. When he said purposes and cleanses you. That's right. It is. He's us away from that. But see, if we don't have the understanding of what's going on, we can be taken captive by those who are producing weeds. Amen. You notice how when we have a garden and there are weeds there, and if we don't deal with the weeds, the weeds pull. Pull the nutrients yes. mm -hmm. from the flowers or mm -hmm. from the food. Mm -hmm. It suck. They literally suck the nutrients. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to yes. cut them out and take them out by the roots. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. It's true. You, you know, you have to take them out by root. But it'll it's, pack it's, your it's our heavenly father that's going to do the division. Yes. You mm-hmm. know, he's going to do all of that. Yes. Let's grow together. Yes. But the thing about it, we need to abide in Yeshua. Mm-hmm. We need to abide in the word of yeah. God. Yes, yes. We need to embrace the foundation of which he is speaking. Yes. Everything that Yeshua is talking about and mm-hmm. Rab Shaul is talking about, all of them is talking about abiding in Yeshua as Yeshua abided within our Heavenly Father as he taught the Torah. Yes. And this is the mystery that to this day cannot be understood of Christ the Messiah in us. Amen. Us in the Messiah. And in his in his uh, prayer in John 17, Father, I pray that they might be one. Yes, as we are one. Amen. And that we are one in Messiah. Yes. He in us. Yes. This is the abiding that we were given yes. here. Uh, I saw on television we were visiting uh, my brother in law. And he, he likes a certain young man. A certain young man is a mega mm-hmm. center. And uh, yeah, I know. motivational speaker. Uh, <laughs> and uh, also, my brother in law would say, Oh, you've got to watch this. And I looked at my husband and kind of, you know, crossed my eyes and rolled my eyes up. And that we were guests there yeah. with my brother in law. And uh, so we were drinking our coffee and, and listening to the Red Mountains. And, and he, he, he holds up the Bible. And I'll repeat. Yeah. This is the Bible. This is the Word of God. This will change us. We'll never be the same. Blah, blah, blah. It's put down. Right. And what does he talk about? He talks about not giving too much sugar to your children. That was the whole message. That was it. And I kind of looked at each other and thought, what? These people are sitting here. Somebody got up and walked out. Yes. I mean, they sit there, captive like zombies. Yes. Uh huh. I can't see them. Yeah, let's go to church. This is a heavy That's how bad it is. And when you don't watch that, you don't realize. How rotten it is. No. No, 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 no. They don't see it. Because they've been taken captive. Well, I had a, a friend and, and she she wrote something to me about this young man and I told her what I thought. Yeah. Oh man, was she ever upset with me yeah. and thought that I was judging him and that I should watch myself. Blah blah blah. So even when you speak speak the right. truth Amen. about something Amen. Not attacking the person, but attacking the message. The message. Yes. Oh, she she attacked me. Well, you got to understand. <laughs> the raising of weeds is what they do. Mm-hmm. You know, if they're yeah. not getting the pure source, yeah. then what they're getting is a, a different Christ. Uh huh. Absolutely. I, I've seen that on TV, and it's, it's like he talks more about stories than he actually teaches the Word of God. So he's using all these parables all the time, yes. rather than teaching the Word. Yes. Yes. You know why? Because he doesn't want to offend anybody. And that's why they have so many people because yes. it's one fuzzy motivation. Yes. Sure. Like yeah. 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 And, oh, I've gone to church. I've done my duty to God. Yeah. And I went and uh, I'm yeah. a little bit of two shoes, so I spread that in my cap. When they when they leave, do they really think about that? That was a good godly message. There was nothing, and I thought, why even yes. why even go to a congregation? It was empty. It, it was like yeah. Yes, yes. Well, see, this is the situation that is going on during the end time. Uh, a lot of people will be taken captive by certain ministries. That's like that. Because they're not speaking the word that's talking about repentance. Can, can I read this piece right here from yes. Isaiah? Right. It's from Isaiah 56. It says, Your watchmen are all blind. They do not comprehend. Mm-hmm. They are all dumb dogs who cannot bark. Mm-hmm. Who doze off and lie down and love to sleep. Mm-hmm. And and it says, in the greedy dogs, and the dogs were greedy. They did not know salvation. 
These are the shepherds who cannot understand. Mm -hmm. They are all gone up on their own ways, each mm -hmm. to his own corner, mm -hmm. for his own dishonest gain, saying, Come, mm -hmm. I will get wine, and we will guzzle liquor together, mm -hmm. and tomorrow we'll all be like this, and even much greater. Amen. Yeah. Well, he also speaks out to that in Ezekiel, I believe, where he says, The whitewashed fence. Instead of them putting the fuller in the cracks to make the tent solid, all they did is just take the and just whitewash over it. Nobody would need it, so it's going to fall right over. In other words, if they don't have a foundation in their doctrine teaching the Word of God, they have nothing. They have nothing. I'm going to get back. I'm going to Now, I want you to understand the Spirit gave me this because we were on another trip. And the Spirit said, we ain't going that trip today. Amen. We're talking about this right yes. here. So I want to be obedient to what the Spirit is. Yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. And, and I'm telling you, there's nothing that we're going to see in the red by the shot that is excluding the yes. Torah. That's right. Amen. That's right. Everything has to be thrown right back into the Word of God. Yes. yes. Um, it, I, when I was uh, talking to you, we were on uh, John 15. Mm -hmm. My book flipped over and... Uh, to John um, 4, and it says, Herein is uh, that saying is true as one soweth and another reapeth. And I sent you to reap that whereon you bestow no labor. Their men labor, and you enter into their labor. Amen. Yeah. So, yeah. whatever, so it's pretty much saying, you know, you may sow a seed, but somebody else may reap from it, and they may reap, they Amen. may sow, and then you may reap from it. Amen. Well, praise God. But see, the thing about it, these things were sown by the, the, the prophets in the colony. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Too short. See, these are, these are the labors that we're coming into. Yes. This is their labor. Yes. Amen. So that we can reap and we'll still sow them. Yeah. Because when you look at the analogy that Yeshua gives, <laughs> unless the wheat falls to the earth and dies, yes. right? Uh-huh. There will, there will not be a crop, in other words. This has happened for a period of time. That each individual that God sent here as a seed bearer, after he, and that's all we are, we're seed bearers. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. And when we, you know, spew the seed out into the individuals, when we speak, yes. we keep on speaking until God calls us. Yes. And then I pass, you pass, whoever passes, those seeds, God's word will not return unto him yes, the yes. thing by which he has sent it as the rain. Amen. And, and it just constantly over and over and yes. over again. We're a part of that cycle. Amen. Amen. Until so he comes. Praise God. He says, let me get back. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, produces much fruit. But without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and is withered, and they gather them to throw them into the fire, and they are burnt. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> So a lot of those that are out there with the little sugar-coated message, and they're not speaking, they're not prospering mm -hmm. the fruit that our Heavenly Father is talking about that you need to prosper in Him. But he says, in Him, in the Father. Yes. Amen? Yes. And if you have those messages that have nothing to do with Yeshua being the Mashiach, nothing to do. Now, I look at my brothers and sisters that are here. Many of you are elevated in the Word. Amen? Over his times of study. Right? Yeah. And there's those that are here that God is elevating yeah. in the Word. Amen? Amen? I tell you what, if you want to learn something, you don't want to be next to the town idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. Amen. Amen. You must rather sit by the wise men at the gate to learn some things that has to do with wisdom. But you also still have the discernment there, too, because there's an old saying, ain't no fool like an old one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So you also have to have discernment when you're sitting by the... <laughs> <laughs> 